CEO Dambui said coffee farmers should not be subjected to world price. He said the government has taken the right step to make seven kina the standard price for all coffee beans. And our job is to ensure that that price is realized by our farmers on the ground. So we are taking that on board and we'll be working with selected uh, buying points to ensure that we drive the government policy. He commended the government for the price support and freight subsidy of 1.5 million kina. He said the freight subsidy has lifted the burden of the coffee farmers as well as the industry. He noted that the industry was given 1 million kina last year for the freight subsidy and around 7 million kina has been returned to the government. That is a very, very critical pro program and I believe uh, we can actually boost the morale of our farmers. Apart from coffee price, a major challenge the industry is currently facing is the coffee berry borer, which is costing the farmers to lose profit. Mr. Dambui said the pest is now spreading and this will affect production if action is not taken to address this. It's an economic pest and that has a, a high chance of reducing or Yes, reducing the production in PNG and of course the exports as well. So coffee berry borer is now uh, spreading and uh, I must thank the government. Government is looking seriously into that to support coffee industry. CEO Dambui says a separate submission will be made to the Office of the Department of Agriculture through the Minister for Coffee for funding to be made available to contain the spread of the pest. Godwin Eki, National MTV News.